everyone, it's Melissa and Kristen. Together we make Melissa. Listen, we usually do car chat, but we are being safe in distancing. Don't get near me. Don't get near me. <laughs> We're distancing. So we're doing porch chat. We're eight, we're on, each of us are on our porches, actually. We are. And uh, we, it's been a challenge. We've started over. We've had plugs. And we've <laughs> moved our... Moved our get phone calls. I know it. But we are carrying on in the, in the Melissa position. But... Uh, we just got through filming a video on Kristen's channel, and it was 10 things we would rather not live without. So I will link that down below. Be sure you go watch it right now, later, sometime. Watch them both. Thumbs, thumbs, thumbs us up. Oh, yeah. Thumbs us up. Subscribe. We'll be right Subscribe. Down Please hit that notification bell. Yeah, that's right. You hit it right now. Do it. Do you ever say that? I no. forget. I forget to say it. Yeah, I figure if somebody wants to subscribe, they will. I don't need to tell them. That's right. Right now, we're doing a tag from Cinnamon Girl Beauty, Michelle. She's so cute. She's cute. Yeah, she's a cutie pie. I like her. I do too. But it is the, let's see, it's called the Sun Kissed Summer Tag. And uh, do you like summer, Kristen? I do. Yeah. Is, I it, do. Your favorite, is it your favorite season? Um, not here in the South. No, it was my favorite season in California. Because of the humidity? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It is hard to handle sometimes, isn't it? My hair was curled. <laughs> my, mine was too, actually. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Is there anything else I need to mention, Kristen? No, no. Okay, I can't think of anything. So these are Michelle, so nice to write down the questions too. Thank but you, Michelle. Anyway, I will link Michelle's video. Be sure you go over and watch her video too. Question number one, Kristen. What are your go-to products for a sun-kissed summer glow? For example, bronzer, self-tanner, highlight, etc. Um, well, cream, bronzer, and highlighter. And highlighter yeah, yeah. The, uh, the cream bronzer gives you the sun kissed and the glow is from the highlighter I don't I don't bother with a sun kissed look I just do my makeup pretty much the same summer and winter but my legs are a different story I do not traditionally uh, use a self tanner but I will use that Sally Hansen legs to give my, my legs a sun glow look mm -hmm. yeah because I will wear sundresses and I don't like my legs looking too uneven. So right. I will use that. It washes out in the shower at night before you go to bed. So and it doesn't transfer to clothes? No, nope. not that I've ever noticed. That's good. I also put highlighter here. Yeah. In the summertime where I don't normally any, any other time. Yeah. Which I do today. But. I get this. So a, a Baji, and I don't think they make it anymore. And it's kind of expensive anyway. But it was a tinted sunscreen that I would put on my chest. Now that would be good to have a tinted, yeah. sunscreen. tinted sunscreen. I I liked it, but I don't think they make it anymore. It's it's too expensive. I think they have other ones that are cheaper anyway. Okay, number two. Uh, what book would you recommend for a summer read? Um. The Divine Secrets of the Yaya -Ya Sisterhood. That's good. I this love that book. My favorite book of all time. Yeah. I love to it. me, if I'm going on vacation, summer or winter, I'm going to take me an Agatha Christie book. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to take me a good Agatha Christie book and get all involved in that. So that would be always any kind of reading for me. You know, I want to laugh. Yeah. I want to laugh or be entertained or just escape. Yeah. I don't want anything drama yeah yeah as far as summer reading. yeah what is your signature summer scent mac turquatic i knew yeah. that you did know that i did know that uh i have no scents. <laughs> i can't find it although i did order a small little thing because i heard it kept that to try it to keep mosquitoes off uh, the Angel by Victoria's Secret. 
So I have a little small thing of it coming just to see. What's it, in it that keeps them away? I don't know, but I've heard that and the Skin So Soft, the Skin So Soft did it. I'm gonna try this, that's why I just got a little small thing of it. Get some peppermint essential oil. Okay. Dump it in, dump the whole thing in an atomizer bottle and then fill the rest of it with water. Okay. That's supposed to keep them away too. I'll try that. I, I'm anxious to see. Supposedly, it's the 31st is coming with the angel. I've heard it smells great. So that might be my summer scent. If it, yeah, it might be. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is your favorite? Number four. The sun is shining. Yes. No, it's not. <laughs> and it's time to get outside. What is your favorite outdoor summer activity? Well... Where, where we live here in Northwest Georgia, it's going to the lake and hanging out on the boat all day, water skiing, tubing, wakeboarding. That's yeah. my favorite summertime activity. In California, it was going to the beach. Yeah. Mine would be uh, going to the mountains and going on a hike. Yeah. In the mountains. In this heat? The mountains are cooler up there. Is it? Yeah, for me it is. But I grew up here, so it's, I might be, maybe I can withstand it better because <laughs> I grew up here. Uh, we can't handle it. We yeah. can't handle the humidity. We need water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number five. Okay. You're at the beach boardwalk and your stomach is grumbling. What is your favorite beach food or snack? Pick just one. I'm trying to think of the things that we packed in the ice chest this last beach. Yeah. There was that Chex Mix, the sweet and salty Chex Mix. That was so good. Watermelon, oh, perfect for the beach. I also love a really good sandwich with like everything on it, like turkey, cheese, bacon, avocado, lettuce. That's really good at the beach too. Yeah. Uh, can you tell when I'm at the beach, I just like to eat? I like to eat too and drink. We take, yeah, we take drinks to the beach and we, we drink. Oh, yeah, oh, that, yeah, gotta have. We take mojitos and, you know, blood, Bloody Mary, anything to we, the beach um, we drink. We made our own wine coolers. We did, Ooh. We, we did white wine with like a LaCroix mm -hmm. and we did red wine with Sprite. Yeah, that sounds it, good. It was good. But I'm probably going to get me an ice cream cone. If I can find one gluten-free, I'm going to get me an ice cream cone. That's what I like. That's true. That's good beach food. Or a popsicle. Yeah. No, not a popsicle. I'm going straight. One ice cream. And I'm not going to tell you what flavor because that's another question down below. So. Oh, okay. I keep hitting my bench that my computer's on. Sorry. If it's with me. Sunscreen is always important, but is it a must during the summer? What are your go-to products? It's absolutely a must, yeah. It is for me. Oh yeah. What are your go-to products? Um, for my body, oh, it's called, I think it's called Australian Gold. It is, yeah, that's good. And it is, it like, it dries almost, I wanna say like there's no residue on your hands, it's not greasy. <laughs> It's amazing. I love yeah. it. I love it. Yeah. For my face, I like that Neutri Neutrogena yeah. Pure and Free or Pre and Pre Free and Pure. It's yeah. one of those, and it's an SPF seventy. Yeah. I like that best for my face. So those would be my two go tos. I usually will do the Neutrogena Dry Touch, like a hundred on my body, and then I, I well you, but if I'm if I'm going out, I will use it on my face too. If I'm just staying home, I will use just the uh, Abaji matte sunscreen. But if I'm going out, I'm gonna put a hundred all over from head to toe, all over ears, everything. After a day in the summer sun and heat, what do you do to cool off? <laughs> my first instinct was to say I take a shower. <laughs> yeah. I take a shower and then I have a cocktail. I would take a cool shower. Yeah. Cool off just to bring my, yeah, that's me too. Just to get that, get yeah. clean and you know. Okay, number eight. 
how do you wear your hair in the summer? Yep. <laughs> and this heat down here, you got to, don't you? Yeah, this is very unusual. Uh huh. It's getting to the point where it's getting to the point of the day where we're going to have to do it up. Yep. Yeah, we're going to have to get those uh, hair ties out. The hair ties. Yeah. So we'll get on through this so we can get our hair up. <laughs> Number nine. Must have nail polish for summer. I'm not going to say anything red aspen, y'all. <laughs> oh, I like that. That is, um, is it Deborah Lippman, Mermaid, Mermaid's Dreams, or Mermaid Dreams? That's pretty. My favorite all-time summer nail polish. Yeah. Uh, I haven't worn any this summer since I'm staying home. I've just given my toenails a break, but I do those, that Danny Pro. If I wear nail polish oh, on the top. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, my, the summertime is the only time I paint my nails. Yeah, yeah. I don't in the winter time. I don't in the winter time either. That, that's right. Me either. Okay, okay, number ten. Sometimes it feels good to just chill out and watch Netflix. Which shows, movies do you recommend? I don't watch Netflix. So, well, any shows. Any shows? Okay. <laughs> We're using Netflix as a coverall, you know. Okay. Watch Netflix. I don't know that I would recommend them, but I'll tell you what I watch. I am un unashamedly a Bravo TV addict. Oh, you like to watch the Weird Real Housewives? I do. do. You watch all of them? I do. Um, yeah, pretty much all of them. They're ridiculous. It's just easy entertainment. Yeah. I do like the fashion though sometimes. It's pretty cool. I like watching what they wear and how yeah. they do makeup and how they do their hair. Um, I love, in the summertime, I miss it too. I love Big Brother. And I miss- well, I used to watch Big Brother too, I you know. they had done that. They could have done Big Brother if they quarantined everybody first. Yeah. And then you go into the house. Before they came in. Because they, they've got to be quarantined anyway. Exactly. So, wow. yeah, I wish they had still done Big Brother. But, yeah, I, well, I just watched trash TV, basically. Um, um, I do like the magnificent, marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Yeah, I've heard that. that. I highly recommend that. What was the other one? Was it The Crown? Yeah, that was good. The one is, no, The Crown was about Elizabeth. There was one about Mary, Queen of Scots that I watched. Oh, okay. Yeah that you would probably like too, but I can't remember where I watched that on. Okay. Was that Netflix? That might've been Netflix. I'll, I'll look it up and I'll let you know because I think you would like it. Yeah, I probably would. We, we watch a lot of uh, English murder shows or murder mystery. We like um, Vera, we like uh, Luther, we like just, just a bunch. We, that's kind of our thing that we like to watch. If we can find a good series, a good murder detective series, British detective series. That we're or Downton watching. Abbey. You liked that, didn't you? We did like Downton Abbey. Yeah. Have you seen the movie? Yes. I haven't. I did like it. Did you go to the show to see it? How'd you see it? I watched it on uh, Netflix or what it not. I mean, you like, I don't know. I just watched it. Maybe we have Dish. Maybe they had it downloaded on Dish. But oh, I, I to look for it. I want to see it. But do you wear liquid foundation, BBCC cream, or tinted moisturizer during the summer? Um, I wear. I still wear foundation, liquid foundation, or whatever I have currently. I'm currently I'm mixing a stick foundation with a tinted moisturizer. Interesting. Yeah, I I usually wear a stick foundation in the summertime. It kind of Helps a blot a little bit, my, because I'm oilier in the summertime. So oh, yeah, we are, aren't we all? Yeah, yeah. Glowier in the summertime. Huh? <laughs> glowier in the summertime. Glowier for me. I'm very glowy. It is so bright outside. Do you wear sunglasses or a hat or both? Both. Both. All with sunglasses, and if I'm going to be in the direct sun, like out on the lake, or like outside, I don't know, garden. What am I talking about? It's out on the lake or at the beach. Absolutely wear a hat as well. I will wear a hat. Oh, you, that's right. You're not big on the sunglasses. 
but I will wear a hat if I'm going to be like at the beach or hiking or something. I'll wear like a baseball hat, or if I'm at the beach, I'll wear a big straw hat. Right, it covers. It covers everything. Yeah. Okay. Number thirteen. What is your summer jam this year? Huh? What is your summer jam this year? I need clarification. Define jam music. I don't know. Or what I'm loving? I guess. What's your jam, what you're loving this year? Yeah, I guess so. Aside from being redundant and saying go into the lake, I'm spending a lot of time reading out here on the porch. Yeah. Like a lot of time reading out on the porch. I get my stuff done and then I go park my butt in that swing. <laughs> uh, I guess mine has been either sitting on this porch or sitting on the front porch. Isn't that boring? Well, we don't have a whole lot of choice. I know. No? But sitting on the back porch and doing things or sitting on the front porch and watching people go by. Watching the grandkids play or whatever. Yeah. That's my jam. We got different jam this year because of COVID. Different jam. Similar jam. Well, if, uh, if I could, it would be going to the mountains. Yeah. And yours would be going to the beach. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's not really practical to go to the beach because it's so far. So yeah, practically it's the lake because it's, yeah, it's only 30 minutes away. Yeah. Mine would be the mountains. Bikini, tankini, or one piece. <laughs> Show us your bathing suit for this season. Well, I'm not Show us? I mean, well, I, I'm not going to model it, but what just we don't have to show it what kind of bathing suit do you usually a one wear? Piece. i wear a one piece yeah me too the days of the bikini are long gone. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh i usually wear a black one no I'll wear in fact i i'll usually wear a pattern of some sort okay i usually just wear a black one i feel like a pattern hides things and it's gotta have ruching Ruching, ruching is good. Ruching is good. Ruching is our friend. Yeah. <laughs> Summer would not be complete without a scoop or two of ice cream. What is your favorite flavor? You know this, right? No, chocolate. You know what my favorite ice cream is? No. Mint chip for the win. Or I call it chocolate mint. Okay, I thought you said Big Chip. I thought, what's Big Chip? I no. thought it was a brand name. No, my favorite ice cream is like chocolate mint or mint and chip. That's my... No, my favorite is butter pecan. That's what Tim likes. Yes, I like nuts in my ice cream. Well, you know, actually, my 31 flavors, or you guys call it Baskin Robbins here, right? Yeah, uh-huh. Only in the summer had a flavor called baseball nut Ooh. it was like vanilla ice cream swirled with blackberry stuff and nuts Ooh. that is my all-time i love that, that. only available in the summertime Have you ever had um like marble slab or cold stone cold stone yeah that's some good ice cream yeah, it is. And marble slab, too. They're pretty much the same thing. The, yeah, same type. It's the same yeah. principle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is good. That's where you pick out what you want on there, and it's on a slab, right? Yeah, and then oh. they add, you pick in your toppings, and they kind of mix it all up on that frozen slab, and then slap it uh, whatever. Or cone or whatever, whatever. Yeah. yeah. That's some good eating. That is some good ice cream eating. Well, it's been a journey today. It's taken us a bit to get to this place, so. We started at 9.30, it's 11.40. Yep. Uh, we had challenges along the way. We started over at one point. That's right, but we will not be deterred. Be deterred and not be stopped. That's right. Well, Kristen, hopefully one day soon, we can be together in person and go get a hamburger at Red Robin. Yeah, maybe by November. We'll see. Yeah, I'm we'll thinking see. probably not till 2020. Maybe not. So 20 no, 2021. Yeah, it not may not be. That's okay, we'll do it. So we'll just do this every month. Yep. 
thank you so much for watching. Be sure you go check out Kristen's video or our video on Kristen's channel. That was a good one. And uh, be sure you check out Michelle. Uh, she's a cutie pie. And yes. appreciate you doing this, this tag, Michelle. It was a lot of fun. It was fun. Uh, thank you, Michelle. Yeah. Uh, take care and take care, Kristen. You too. Be safe. Bye.